I've never met anyone that actually wanted to stop smoking. These are my tips on how to quit smoking so many cigarettes or to stop smoking completely. Further to my heart attack video that I've just covered, I'm now going to focus on some tips that will help you either cut down your smoking or stop altogether. I'm not going to try and repeat the ones you've already looked up. We all know about patches, the chewing gum, etc. I quit once, now I have to again because I had a heart attack. Don't underestimate smoking and its effect on your arteries, which can lead to heart attacks. Statistically, if you've had a heart condition and don't stop smoking, you will have another heart attack within five years. So it's that serious. I would suggest you don't bother so much looking for videos and ways to stop smoking, but rather look at videos that explain how it affects the body. What it does, like for example, the, the nicotine binds to your cells and that prevents your blood from carrying as much oxygen around your system. Uh, there's some new things I've discovered that make a lot more sense than just the broad statement where they say you should stop smoking. We all know smoking's bad for us. Okay, we're not idiots. <laughs> a lot of non-smokers think we're idiots for smoking. All right, well, I suppose we are idiots for smoking, but unless they've been in that position, they have no idea. Now, I made a video a good while back now how angry I was about the fact that I had taken up smoking again and the reason why. Of course, when I got out of hospital, I said, I just want to have one cigarette and a nice cold Guinness because I had tubes down my throat. So of course one cigarette led on to the fact that I had to buy a packet of cigarettes in order to get the one cigarette. So I had the one cigarette and then I went, um, well I'll just have another. And before you know, for the next two weeks I smoked. Now I didn't want to do that so I found a leaflet in the uh, doctors about a hypnotherapist which was $500. So um, I made an appointment and in due course went up to see her. When I got there I deliberately took enough cigarettes, so I had one final cigarette left, and that's the one I had. Flicked it, and I said, that's it. I'll put a link above to that one. So watch that, but come back to this one, and just stick around for a bit, because something may click with you, and if it does, it may help you, rather than just a blanket, you should stop smoking, which of, there are millions of videos out there I'm sure. So here's a couple of my pointers to either cut down or stop smoking. First thing is most people, in fact I've never met anyone that actually wanted to stop smoking. It's usually because we need to. Um, now I'm living proof that um, <laughs> I'm broke because of smoking. I've had nice cars and toys etc which I've sold, and you know what? I smoke the bloody things away. And I'm talking big money. Roughly estimating the amount of cigarettes I've bought in my lifetime, I could have bought a nice house. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I, until last week, typically smoked 80 cigarettes a day. Um, sometimes 60 when I've tried. That's a lot. Um, so that's uh, that's well over five hundred dollars a week, and as you would know, prices are going up and up and up and up and up. They've always been expensive, apparently. When I went on a cruise a couple of years ago, spoke to a really old guy that I don't suppose it was World War One. I, I can't remember, but a long time ago, cigarettes were always expensive, even back then. Okay, they weren't the same price, but in relation to wages, yes, they were always expensive. Something interesting. And this is why I suggest researching the mechanisms of what smoking does to you. Something interesting, aside from the other things, the tar, etc., and the anywhere from 500 to 5,000, depending on how you look at it, chemicals that we intake. One of those things, the nicotine, like even people that are into cigars go, well, there's only the, you know, tobacco. The nicotine in that tobacco binds to the receptors that carry the oxygen around your body so you're not getting as much oxygen as you need 
I believe also that the act of smoking can cause tears in your arteries which I've covered in my heart attack video about the plaque that builds up and up and doesn't know when to stop uh, so until they invent intelligent plaque intelligent cholesterol um, we're faced with what we're faced with and the kookaburra laughed and he said it's true God the kookaburra is still laughing it must be really true the worst thing I find um, when you need to stop smoking is it's against your will it's not something you want to do what I can tell you that I know as an actuality from experience when I did stop smoking yes there is the addiction factor there's no doubt about that but it's not as bad as it's made out okay it's the habit that is the hardest thing to break now at the time I went on to vaping and I was fine for that I vaped for 18 months um, I covered it in the other video I think about why I stupidly went back to smoking the biggest regret of my life one thing I say about vaping if that's what you want to do do it it is so so much better even cardiologists recognize it's so much better than cigarettes but don't be tempted to get the one with the nicotine in uh, in Australia where I am it's actually illegal to sell the liquid with nicotine having said that it is possible to get you know if, if you know where to look don't do it because that's one of the products that will stuff you up I had no problem just vaping nicotine free liquid when I was vaping okay it satisfied I didn't have any cravings uh, so why would you want to go on to something that's going to give you cravings that's my 20 cents worth on that sometimes it takes a dramatic event to make you realize that you need to stop smoking in my case it was a heart attack now I don't particularly want to stop smoking it's something I do um, I find you smoke mostly I do anyway in the environment you're in at the time now uh, when I work in office buildings, um, doing acting, etc., I can go the whole day without a cigarette, and I, I don't even really think about it. But once you're outside, yes, you light up and go back to the old routine. With me, because I spend so much time sitting at my office desk, editing, etc., videos for you guys, I chain smoke, and most of the time I'm not even consciously thinking, oh, I need a smoke, I love a smoke. No, it's just like, mm, do it. And before you know it's like, oh shit, another packet's gone. <laughs> so it depends what you do. A suggestion I'd like to make is, if you want to start slowly, and I think that's probably the best way, I ended up cutting cold turkey when I did give up. I paid 500 bucks for a um, hypnosis session, and uh, I had one final cigarette before I went upstairs with a hypnosis, because I thought... Um, whether it works or not, I'm not blowing 500 bucks on nothing, so had one final smoke, the very last puff, right, let's go. And sometimes hypnosis works for people. I'm wearing a patch at the moment. Um, another suggestion on patches, I never found they worked, although I have worn them when I've flown long distances overseas. One thing I've realised about medication, don't use old stuff because some of it does lose its efficacy. Get fresh patches, just the same as medications. If you have to take medications, make sure they're fresh. Don't use stuff that's years old that you've still had and thought, oh, well, I may as well use them up, save a bit of money. Just get the fresh stuff. My suggestion is to try and keep busy, that way you're not stopping as often, at least, to have cigarettes. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have a lot less cigarettes than you might have had otherwise. Ultimately, it's up to you. It is your choice. Uh, there's nothing worse than being forced to do something. When you feel forced to cease any habit against your will, that's what makes it seem such a traumatic hurdle to overcome. So one little suggestion is, say you need to drive somewhere. Don't smoke in your car for that trip. It's not hard to do. Most trips aren't that long anyway. And if you need to have a smoke, stop, have a smoke, whatever. But if you don't need to, if you don't really feel that you're dying for a cigarette, then just keep going. Even when you get to the destination, say it's not too far away and now you're coming home, 
unless you really feel the need to, and you'd be surprised, you probably won't, then don't have that cigarette, come home. So let's say, let's say arbitrarily an hour, you've gone without a cigarette. Well, that can't be a bad thing versus having 10 or 20 in that hour, can it? I don't think so. Try keeping them somewhere in another room so you at least have to get up and go and get them each time you want a cigarette. And only take one at a time, not two, because you'll smoke those two very quickly in sequence. If you're not already, you may find it easier to cut down by smoking roll your own cigarettes. I know they slow me down because I'm hopeless at rolling them. <laughs> because it takes so long to roll the damn things, you will essentially take longer to smoke cigarettes. So there is that aspect to look at if you're struggling. Another idea is maybe you could go visit a non-smoking friend where you can't chain smoke in front of them for hours. Just try and stay distracted. Go and play one of your favourite sports. Even fly a drone. Imagine not being breathless all the time for a change. Or not having to go to the dentist a couple of times a year to get that horrible tar cleaned off your teeth. Or those embarrassing nicotine stains on your fingers. And then there's the price. At the time of recording, the cheapest cigarettes you can buy here in Australia are over $1 per cigarette. Prices go up quite dramatically depending on the premium brand, but that is the cheapest you can get them. Everywhere in Europe, they're about $5 a packet of 20. Here, you're looking at almost $22 for a packet of 20 cigarettes. Of course, in Asia, the cheaper versions are even, like, still a couple of dollars only. Personally, I think it's criminal. The government, I was told, over 20 years ago by my tobacconist at the time, made $100 million a day from cigarette taxes. God only knows what it is now, 20 years later. If they did the same escalation of prices for alcohol, there would be absolute outrage. But here, it seems every other week, They've jacked up the prices further and further. Comment down below how much cigarettes are in your country. They try and palm off the tax goes towards the hospitals, but unfortunately that is absolute bull. Anyway, I digress. That's not what this video is about. Also, something else I found out only recently. If you smoke commercial cigarettes, the filters on those, once they're heated, release a gamut of very, very toxic substances. Statistically, the average person takes up to five times to finally stop smoking cigarettes. So don't beat yourself up if you slip back. Just try again. And don't think of it as quitting. Make sure you understand that this is you choosing to stop smoking. There's no quitting about it. It's your choice. So if you can't stop smoking, at least cut down. And here's a little abstract thought too. Um, you would think that smoking less cigarettes must be less harmful than smoking more. One statistic I just heard was even one cigarette a week can cause damage to your arteries. So look, it's up to you. You need to do it because it's your choice, not because you're told to, okay? Not because of peer pressure, it's your choice. Okay, just be aware of the facts. Research what can happen. Okay, if you, I guarantee you one thing. If you're in hospital having just had a heart attack like I did last week, you're gonna take it a lot more seriously than as time goes on, and this is what I don't want to happen to me. Time goes on, yeah, oh, yeah well, I'll, I'll, I'll cut down, I'll cut down. Because before you know it, that golden five year maximum period you've got before another heart attack will be here. You may not make the next one. Or if you do, you may find you so damaged, you lose a lot of your faculties. So it's not worth it. We know that. Look, if any of these suggestions have helped you, I've done my duty in imparting what knowledge I know about it. If you have any questions, drop me a line below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video or some of the other videos I make, please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notifications of my new videos because that's what you have to do these days or else you'll just never know. All right, cheers. I hope this helps some people. That's what I'm here to do. If you are an ex-smoker, comment below how you did it. Cheers.
Remember, whether you decide to cut down or stop smoking altogether, it is your choice and it is up to you.